Hey guys, welcome to my new video and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how you can improve the backgrounds within your photo in Adobe Photoshop. So in this video I'm going to be going over straightening things like tilted lines like in this one and also improving the background bokeh and also just improving the backgrounds in general. So here's a few examples up on the screen now that you can see of just some backgrounds that I've played around with and pretty much enhanced and helped bring more light out in them or just help make them look a bit better. So let's jump right into it. Now I'm going to start off with this photo here and the first thing we're going to do is level out this diagonal line we see in the background. Now this is actually a fence um, and for some reason it's always on an angle which irritates me. So the first thing we're going to do, what I just did, is duplicate our background layer. Now to do that you just click your background layer here and drag it down to the new layer icon there and it'll make a copy. Now we'll just rename this layer by double clicking on the name and we'll just call this background fix or something just so we know what it is for future reference now what we can do is just pretty much grab our rectangular marquee tool here and draw a line below where you want to cut out now this has to be quite a decent distance not right up close to it but not over the other side of the photo it doesn't really matter as long as your main subject isn't in the photo now for me my glasses are the main subject of the photo so I'm cutting those out so I'll just highlight the bottom half and press delete and you'll see if we hide our background layer all we have is this now what we're going to do is enable our rulers by pressing ctrl R and you'll see them pop up on the top and the left hand side here and we'll click the top and drag it down now this is just so we know exactly what is a straight line and we'll bring it to the highest point on our diagonal line right here and now we'll click our background fix layer press ctrl T to bring up the transform options or you can go edit free transform and then we want to right click and go warp and now you can see if we drag our photo we can pretty much level all of this on that straight line and once you are done you want to hit this tick up here and then get rid of our ruler by holding control or as informed last time you don't always need to hold control in certain versions and then if we hide our background fix layer you can see the difference there and if no one saw the original you wouldn't notice that that's been corrected like that so there we go now we're going to go on to brightening up the top here so we're going to create a new layer again and you can rename this again if you want but I'll just leave mine like this and for starters we want to press B to bring up our brush tool and make it a fairly big brush and definitely 0% hardness and we want to make it white and what we're going to do is pretty much just paint over the top here now what this is going to do is pretty much just brighten it up and we're going to set this to overlay and you'll see the effect that gives there and we can just drop the opacity a little bit to about 70% and now we want to create another layer and this time we're going to change the color so I'm going to go down to our color palette here and choose a nice orange color something like this and now what I'm going to do is get our brush a bit bigger and just put some random uh, spots around the picture here just like that and we're going to set this to something like screen and you can see the effect that gives off there and we can try also lowering the opacity of this one just so it's not as bright you can see it just really helps add a nice orange glow and helps the background look a bit better now you can play around with the different blending options to achieve some different results and pretty much just keep playing around until you're happy so I'll leave mine like that and I'm pretty happy with that so let's move on to another example like this photo now this is the already edited one so there's a border and everything on it but if we just create a new layer just as an example again grab a nice big brush and we'll change the color again to something a bit lighter but also that same orange color so it goes with the current background and you know make a new layer and we can just put some random dots around and then we can also just make it white again and put a few just white dots here and there just to add some variety and then again change the blending mode to overlay and you can see it just really helps enhance the background bring out that light burst and make it look a bit more dramatic and here's the final example I'll be showing you now this is already edited once again and it's just a, some leaf droplets now you can see over to the left hand side of the photo here I've kind of softened the edge of this leaf here and it kind of fades out towards the edge now this is something you can do to really help bring your attention to something like these leaves now of course there's other leaves behind here so if we grab our brush tool again 
but this time make it black and make it a nice big size. You can see we can just kind of, you know, fade these leaves out towards uh, the sides here. Just pretty much help darken everything up apart from our primary leaves here and take everyone's focus away from everything that isn't important. And then if you used a nice big brush, you can just create a layer mask or just simply use the eraser tool and go over the surface of the leaves just to make sure that you didn't darken those. And that's pretty much it. So there's three quick examples of different ways you can improve your backgrounds. So I hope this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe for more videos. Check out part one and two, which are also fixing up your photos and helping improve them. And feel free to check out my DeviantArt with the link in the description. You can see my photography there if you're interested. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.